Good afternoon people, some random guy here, talking about something that I found a few weeks ago and wanted to make a video about as well, in case you haven't heard. There's one sector in crypto called Deepin, which stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network, I think that's the word. Never mind, it's right there, I'm blind. Think about it this, you got a phone, you want internet, you need 5G towers. Somebody, some company, has to put that on our planet, on our earth, to us to get that connection. And similar to that, but now I would like to talk about a new feature that Hydra has. In case you haven't heard about Hydra, they just released their mobile app, which is now available on both iOS as well as Android. Easily installable, easy to find and download. I will have the links in the description down below. And what they offer at the moment, which is a pretty big thing, is for their token, the Hydra token, they have delegated staking available in the new mobile app. That means traditionally when you stake a token, the token itself, not in a liquidity pool, but just the token, you get about like three, four, sometimes 5%. At the moment for Hydra, you get 37% APY. The earlier you join, the better, as that percentage will fluctuate over time. But at the moment, getting 37% for a solid token is a pretty good deal. Plus over the past month alone, you can see how the hype increased the token value by over 60% within a couple of days. Sometimes when it comes to crypto, it can be kind of difficult when it comes to setting everything up, sending tokens, receiving them, all of that. But they made their new mobile app to make it as simple as it gets for new users. They make it easy and user-friendly, secure, and as passive as it gets, so you just have to get the tokens, stake them, and that is it. They also have it available through your desktop browser in case you prefer your computer, but this is mainly focused on the app. So I will show you real quick on what to do when you download the app, how to find it, how to get it, how to set it up, all of that. So first of all, you use the Hydra Chain mobile wallet if you want to type it in for Android as well as iOS, or you simply click the link in the description down below, and that's how you find the wallet. Once it's installed and opened, all you have to do is you create your account, as in you select the name for your wallet, you save your seed phrase, create a password, some mnemonic thing as well. Always make sure to, first of all, never share your seed phrase and also save it, not necessarily on your computer, but write it down physically, so you're the only person to ever have it, and then you're set up and ready to go. What you gotta do in here is deposit some of the Hydra tokens if you wanna use it for your wallet. On exchanges like Maxi, KuCoin, as well as Gate.io, you probably signed up to those, you can find the Hydra token, buy it, send it, and for the receiving wallet address, use the one that you have in your app. Next up for the different options between sending, receiving, and your transaction history, you also have the staking option available, for which you can choose one out of roughly 20, 30, 40 different delegators that on average take about a 5% fee and pay you out the other 95% of your profit, meaning the 37% APY that you get is closer to about 35% considering the fee. You will then click on stake and that's it. So again, link in the description below if you want to check it out. If you need to swap tokens that is available in the app as well, and maybe outside of the usual staking for Hydra, you can also use the different liquidity pools available. So you can stake two stable coins, for example, so you just get free money for providing liquidity. And now, with the links down below, I would say, let's get back to the video. There are a whole bunch of different coins, listed over here, for example, or in this picture, that work with that. For example, we have geospatial networks for positioning, for imagery and mapping, for environmental networks, as in, instead of trusting Amazon, Google, and the other giants out there, that they, you know, take the data and do nothing bad with that, you can make it connected with crypto and then make it work. And we've seen similar things before on like a really small scale, last bull run. For example, if you remember Steppen, where you could buy an NFT and then every time you walk around, you get steps. That's like the really basic minimal thing. And there are a couple others that have a similar concept over here, but this over here might be the next like narrative of the upcoming bull run. Last time we had DeFi, so decentralized finance. And now when we do finance stuff, it shouldn't be decentralized. It shouldn't be centralized so the banks can just keep your money. We want to make it decentralized. So the idea for that, you know, makes sense. Most of us, we had GameFi, SocialFi, we had DAOs, and the idea, you know, it's fun in a bull run when people just throw around buzzwords, but nothing really happens. For all the different D pin things over here, like digital resource networks, they have a purpose. And that's the big thing. Last bull run, most things that went up in value a lot, either speculative or they didn't do anything, as in there's no real product behind it. When you buy an NFT, what do you get? Voting rights? Voting rights for what? For a community that doesn't do much? You know, eh, doesn't quite work. Those things over here, at least they have a whole company behind it, a physical product, something that you can use not just to get, generate the token, which then, you know, goes up, you have more, sell it, money, nice, but also something that actually has a use case in real life. I made a video, for example, about Hive Mapper, 
about a year ago ish google maps when you use street view for example you can you know go through every single street on earth and you see the video on how it looks like and you can jump back and forth look around google owns that data nobody else you could take it that's not really allowed so hive mapper has a device something like a like a navigation system you put into your car at the very front if there's like a windshield you just attach it here and it also scans the entire surrounding and now because it's your data you give that to hive mapper they have the data now and you get rewarded with a token depending on the area you cover if that is an area that you haven't covered before so for example you could put it on a on a bicycle just cycle around your city if you're the only person doing that get a whole bunch of tokens and get rewarded for that because you generate data for them individuals you me everybody else can contribute to the deployment and operation of physical infrastructure and hardware and create a more efficient and equitable model for infrastructure deployment bunch of big boy words but in simple one company is only in one single place if they use everybody in the world they have all the places available yeah they even mentioned high over here it's the world's first crypto enabled dash cam pretty much where you can then record the street and sell that health blocks provides a secure health data sharing and coordination platform leveraging blockchain and token incentives to get a more efficient and patient centric healthcare system as in if we can all work together world is nice how do we get motivated money how do we get the money tokens and we sell them which goes up the more people use it and it's physical so you can actually do something in real life so when we always sit here and look at monkey pictures to buy and sell or our you know fantasy coins and we can buy and sell them we don't really know what happens what they do what decisions they make it's just up down up down but in here you can actually participate yourself the components on how this is all possible is the network with off-chain computer infrastructure blockchain architecture to make it encrypted and decentralized and safe and all that and then we get tokens we can sell them make money nice so for the future as in we have 40 billion smart devices and machines that's a lot it's more than humans on this planet we can trust the data we can help help as in we get money and incentives to help other companies build their networks to help them get all the data i made a list before of some of the coins that are available which i put onto this list over here on coin market cap just have like a watch list i couldn't find every single thing that was available on those two pictures and other pictures as well those are only the ones listed you can see some of them they have no real listing or price to it but most of the time because most of those coins are all you know small cap coins under like 100 million the price varies a lot Orchid, 12% difference to last week, up and down. Deeper went down 14%. So right now, everything is fragile. Even the biggest one with Filecoin is just 1.5 billion. It's still 1.5 billion, but that's not that much compared to like Bitcoin and other stuff. If this is going to be the narrative of the next bull run, and let's just say you put like $200 into 50 of these, because you have $10,000 to spare. The average coin in here, let's pick this one for example, Flux. If we go into the all-time high, which used to be $3-ish, and we would just assume, for the sake of the argument, that we all go back to all-time high prices from last bull run. Then you can like 10x on almost everything in here, if not more. Some of the ones, let's pick Aleph, RV, and Storage. They have weird names. So Aleph used to be at 82 cents, now it's at 7, so that's like an 11x. We have RV, which is at $4, used to be at 85, that's a 20x, and Storage used to be at three dollars now it's at 38 cents it's like a eight to nine max in total for all the coins that i had or like the ones that you can look up pretty much everything is down minimum like 80 percent 90 percent 95 up to 98 percent that doesn't mean you just take money throw it at it and hope something works obviously that's a strategy could work but if one of them pops off and then the whole narrative becomes deep in here there whatever and you hear more and more about that on twitter on other websites maybe on youtube videos then there's a good chance at least that the conglomerate of humans in this world all join in price goes up and then you sell don't forget as we learned from every single bull run when the thing goes up you're supposed to sell it not keep it sell it and make the profit and in the worst case it at least gives you like a different type of let's just put it call it like genre to look at for example we can focus on the metaverse it's a pretty stupid idea because you've seen how terrible the quality is could work at some point when we all use vr and we don't because we're not there yet hope this helps hope this gives you like a like a small overview maybe you've heard about some of these before i mean render we've all heard about render which went up to like two dollars and 70 cents i think because 
of Nvidia and other stuff that they announced. Now it's down to like 140. It's not too far-fetched that similar things in here that have a real use case might get used by more and more people the moment the next bull run comes back. And in case that happens, take a screenshot of that or take a screenshot of this one over here or just type in D-pin crypto, click on Google Images and you'll find it as well. And then do your research, see if some of that in here has potential. My own thing that I'm holding, just, you know, as a, as a side note, which is similar but not really, this thing went down by a lot, a lot, a lot. Don't buy this. Important, don't buy this. This used to be at 20 something cents, 22. Now it's at, you know, 0.2 cents. So it's down like, like 100x, barely, just 100x. That's, that's not too much. You can see I have some of that. I have like 250,000 of that token. And that is like my bet, which is pure gamble for the future. Reason is, in case you never heard about this, what they do is when you put something like an object and you have it and you want to put it into your computer, you want to have a 3D scanned version of that from every single angle. You need it in high quality and you need the scanners. They do that. And they've been working the whole the whole bear market. So I think if this gets used and we have a metaverse at some point, good idea. Otherwise, complete waste of money and this doesn't do anything. Never get married to your coins. This is just to make money. You don't support the company, really. I mean, technically, but not really. This is purely to make money. Most likely, nothing in here will happen. But if it does, nice. I just think when you like do all your research and you see like a project that stands out, this is that for me. Don't buy it, you'll lose money. This goes down every single time. Even since I bought it at the bottom, the bottom is now almost 50% lower. Because I used to spend like 1.1K. You can see it's 650. Still losing money on that. Don't buy it. I hope this works. And if not, then maybe we have we have the next Crypto Blades and Axie Infinity. And then we can play that and I can tell you about the best NFT games. Again. And we'll find out in the future. Until then, take care.